Type error. Cannot read properties of null. Reading add event listener. Let's take a look at this. Here we've got an HTML file where we're loading a simple page with a hello world string and a button that says click. And, and we're trying to wire up this button to be able to print something. So let's take a look at the JavaScript. We're defining the element which we fetch from the DOM with an ID of button. And then we try and add a click listener. And when that is clicked, when that button is clicked, we want to print out in all caps click. Currently that's not working because there's an error here. So it cannot read properties of null reading at event listener. So what this means is it's trying to read this. It's trying to find this method, but this element here is null, which means that this here returns null, which means that document.query selector cannot find, at the time that this is running, it cannot find this element in the document. And that is because we are loading it here in the head. So the way that the browser parses and loads this page is it goes through and if it finds a script tag up here, it'll run this first and then it'll start building the structure of the page. Okay, so there's two ways that we can fix this. First, we can add a defer attribute here, which tells it to build the content first and then try to load that JavaScript. Look, no errors. And now it works. Okay. The other option is to move this down lower. And a best practice for a long time has been to move it to the end of the file, just right before the closing body tag. So this works as well. We get this error here because we're doing both. <laughs> Let's take that out. And there we go. Okay. Here's another thing I wanted to call out. It doesn't matter if this is an inline script or an external script. So if we just place it inline here like this. It, it'll still work if it's down here below. Now if we move this higher in the document whether it's just above the element or up in the head, this script tag will run before this button is on the page, which means we have the same problem. This is executing first. But the thing is with an inline script like this, you cannot use the defer attribute, it doesn't work. So to sum up, counter properties of null means that it's trying to find an element on the page that it cannot find, that, that does not exist which means that if we have a typo here, we'll run into the same problem. So order matters in JavaScript and in the life cycle of the page and how the browser loads it. So it's gonna go from top to bottom. It'll execute the, um, the elements at the top first and if it finds a script tag, either in the head or high up in, in the HTML, it'll, that's called a blocking script, meaning it'll run that script before it keeps loading the HTML that's below it. So the solutions are either use a defer attribute or move your script tag down to the end of the page.